It's your boy, B30, checking in with Dirty Glove Bows, the off the porch, free big shots. Brr, brr. Go f on my nigga now. Backseat of the road truck, keep pouring, no pain, damn near empty. More drink that I pour up the deep I All right, so we got the one and only Big 30 big jumping brr. off the porch with us today. What's going on, Big Brr? Yes. Free big shots. And how you feeling today, bro? Feeling good. I'm feeling great. How you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. I'm happy you came, man. Wait, so, bro. I had to pop up on you. Yeah, man. Go ahead and introduce who you got sitting on the porch with you today, you man. Know what I'm saying CMO, Top Gun, KBJ. I got Baby Shots, Lemon, Top Gun, Artist, Top of Walk, here, Top Gun, Artist. Remember back there. No? Okay. That's what's good, man. All right, man. So, first off, what happened to your IG page, man? Instagram hating on you, or did someone actually hack you? See, they hate. I think somebody report a lot of people reported my pay. I really think, well, hey, nigga, going up too hard, man. <laughs> but go follow my new Instagram page, CLB30 underscore two. Everybody, you been following my old page, go follow me, run back up. Yeah. Nah, don't worry, man. Instagram be hating on us. We on our third page too, man. man. First day shine, that's down, man. It's crazy. They making this shit too strict now, like yeah. it ain't fun no more. But I really think they making it like that because there's so many kids on the internet now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that like influence the kids to go to school and say what they seen or you know what I'm saying? They're going to eat up the lingo or whatever the rapper do, whatever we do, or whatever. So, you know how that shit be. Too many kids on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. So, I believe that's why they're doing it. Just making it better for the community. Yeah, but don't they know 30 is for the kids, man? On, we man. saw you just surprise that five year old for Come his on, birthday, man. too, Come on, man. man. Come on, man. I'm all for the kid. I got three kids myself. There you go. Man. Love the kid. Yeah. How excited was that kid when you pulled up on him on man, his birthday? Man, he was though, so man. He was too excited. He kind of said, You know how little kids don't know the song? He keeps saying, uh, he trying to say my song, but he keeps saying it wrong. <laughs> I fuck with that young nigga. That's my nigga, Buddy Gray's son. I fuck with him. Nah, that's what's up, man. All right, man. So uh, what else you got shaking here in Atlanta, man? We know you about to drop, man. Right, you going to drop, drop this week? Or? Yeah, it's supposed to drop Friday. King of Kill Brand, man. It's supposed to drop Friday. This Friday coming up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, we'll get to the album in a bit, man. But uh, let's talk about South Memphis, man. Growing up in South Memphis, man. I ain't just, I grew up in Whitehaven, Shasta from South okay. I grew up in Whitehaven, Tennessee. Okay. Went to the Midbrook, so I grew up right at the end of six. But I, you know what I'm saying? South Memphis like a nigga second home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga going out there on Whitley to kind of creek shit, getting those shots to them. I really was going on my cousin house, but you know, you go up your one cousin house, you meet your nigga, you know what I'm saying? In their neighborhood, it's yeah, something. That's how this shit happened. Sure. Shots to linked up. So yeah. what were you into as a kid before the music, man? Uh, shit, I was, you know what I'm saying, playing football and shit, checking the shit out for, you know what I'm okay. saying? Shit, shit like that. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, let me see, I played football when I was like eight all the time, I was like 12. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What position would they have you in? Running back. I'm there playing. I'm there playing. I'm just saying, you be running them boys over, I'm man. I'm there playing. I was on the line, though. Okay. <laughs> all right, so at what age would you say you jumped off the porch, then? I don't know, probably like 14. About 14. Yeah. Okay. Well, it depends on what you mean by jumping off the point. Man, like, so my definition is, you know, yeah. just kind of getting out there, seeing the world. I, really, for like, probably, if you mean like jumping off the point, you know what I'm saying? Pistol toe and getting their money on my own, probably like 14. But a nigga been outside and shit. Like, I ain't never had a curfew and shit. Hmm. But it's just because I always had understanding with my mama, you know what I'm saying? She know what I will, know what I want, you know what I'm saying? Nigga respect their mama to the foot, so she let me do my thing as a young nigga. I ain't never hung around nobody my age, everybody four, five years older than me type shit. Okay. God was better than that. So did you have much guidance out there then? Were they kind of showing you what to do, what not to do, or? Hell yeah, I was the baby. They wouldn't never lead me the wrong way. They weren't there, you know what I'm saying? If it get too, when I was a young nigga, if it was, they felt like it was too hectic for me, my nigga number tell me I couldn't go. You know what I'm saying? Most. Man, excuse me. Mom, dude, she wouldn't worry about this shit. You know what I'm saying? She just feel like I'm outside. It ain't like she know I'm going to no club. It was my nigga now. And I'm proud that they, you know what I'm saying, they got a nigga like that, man. And they showed me they cared about me and shit. Telling me go home. Well, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's hectic out here tonight going in the house. You know what I'm saying? It was my nigga now. Versus other nigga big humbles and shit. Go do this. Go kill him. Go send their little nigga them out. You know what I'm saying? Not telling them what come behind this shit. Yeah. See, my type of nigga, they gonna tell the nigga. I'm talking about real deal like a jug. You know this 80, 30 percent. You know that real talk. <laughs> Lil Rick gonna tell the nigga. I swear to God, real talk. He gonna tell the nigga. Now you know it. Ah, huh? it's 51. You trying? Oh, that ain't real talk. He gonna let the nigga know. That's why I respect my nigga. I'm like, 
You gotta know what come with this shit. You don't have to, or you just, I ain't gonna be a rude awakening for your ass. Real shit. And tell your ass 460 months, go back to the set. She fuck gave me 36 years? No, I ain't. <laughs> Nigga, you gotta think about this shit before you do what you gotta do. Nah, for real. real. So how'd you get into making music, and how old were you at the time? Uh, I started rapping probably, what the was, 2018, 19. Me and Shaw, we probably just turned 18. We really was just, just doing it, just trying to get off on Facebook, upload a video on Facebook, rapping that motherfucker. Went off, that motherfucker, the whole city. Probably surrounding here, like, you know what I'm saying, August, South Mississippi, they probably were on this shit. That's what gave us the buzz that we knew how to rap. Then we t we dropped this song, me, K Shots to Chopper T, and Pooh Shots called Breaking News. That was like my first song. Oh, really? Yeah. My first song, really shooting a video to putting out there, you know what I'm saying, type shit. Yeah. For real though. That's how this shit hard. That's how this shit started. It's like, we ain't never had a bad song. We ain't never go down. It always went up every time we drop. The shit came from like 50k a month to 100k a month to 100k a week, 100k a day, 500k a day, a million a day like that. They ain't never, you know what I'm saying, go down for it. A nigga ain't never drop no bad song. Or even if it was a bad song, it, it'll hit that million view marker. You know what I'm saying? We'll be content with that. Yeah, can't complain yeah. with that. Yeah, nah. All right, so did rapping come natural to you or did it take some practice for you to? Yeah, this shit, it kind of natural. Like, it was a talent I always knew I had, but I never tried it. And then, like, I had to find myself, find my rhythm and sound and shit. You know what I'm saying? Get the feeling of myself. And this is what I'm comfortable with. Like, I might drop something that you like, all y'all like, but I might don't like it. It's coming out of big 30 mouth. I don't like how it sounds. I had to find myself where I like how it sounds. And I be confident with it when I put it out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? They love it. Yeah. yeah. Were you surprised how quickly your music's taken off these past, what, two, three years? It still shocked me. I ain't gonna lie, everything still shocked me. It be like, I'm constantly going up. Everything I think they counted me out on, it be like a week later, a month later, they calling me for it. You know what I'm saying? For real. Nah, that's a that shit going right up there. for a nigga. For sure. Who'd you grow up listening to? Who were some of your favorites? Mine, like, growing up, nigga, listen to Gucci, mine, got it. Then TQ came out the young nigga okay. way. You know what I'm saying? They, they ran all the young nigga crazy. I believe this who turned this shit to a young nigga world. We said, ah, oh, he can do it, he's 16, Rob J, good smashing, you know what I'm saying? SRT, Troy, BLW, Mansion, four with shit, ah, oh, yeah, we gone. Yeah. That's what we want, white thought, this is like we trying to live, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it like he set the tone for a nigga that no young niggas can do this shit too. For sure. And shit, now here you are working with Gotti, working with Gucci. That, that's crazy right yeah, there. Yeah, that shit amazing. That shit crazy. Yeah. I brought God in my hood, fool. For real? Nobody ain't never did that. How I pull it out, got it in them trenches, pull up, pull up over there, roll, roll, pull up, pull up, I'm talking about we out there, blocking, down deep, for real. Sure. Shit felt good. Yeah. All right, so did, were you taking music serious right away when you first started rapping, or how long did it take for you to say, all right, I'm pretty good at this shit. Let me try and put my all into this, see what Probably, we're doing. I told you, at first we were just doing it to get off on social media. But when I signed with Bag and Head, Endless, Breaking on Kind of Me, I knew, all right. This shit serious, some folk investing their money in me, I can't play with this shit. Yeah. Nigga, I know if I'm from the street, nigga don't play about their money. Not saying I thought something gonna happen to me, but you know what I'm saying, these grown man bid and nigga ain't gotta suit up, take care of their bid, take this shit serious. For sure. For real. You met Bag through uh, Big Homie G? No, nah, I met Bag through my cousin, Nooski. Okay. No, no, he been like around Bag and shit. Bag took him in, look, before I rap, you know what I'm saying, showed him new life and shit, just around Bag and shit. This how I met him. And shit, my nigga Noose could drink them and shit, they would play my music to him and shit. And that's how this shit happened, they got the Iron Man and shit. Okay. But, I, but Big Homie G, he did like put that look, like he solidified, put that push on like, yeah, bro, them y'all niggas, it, go on here. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, he did that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, because Bag was on you early, man. For sure, Bag, he from <laughs> Memphis, like, come on, fool, you from Memphis, you say you don't see this shit, you, don't see, you say you don't see Pooh Shots and Big Thug, you don't see us climbing, then you hate, he ain't trying to see it. Cause you gotta see this shit right here in your face and y'all niggas ain't playing and y'all niggas going up. And they, and if you from me, if you know what's up, them y'all niggas, them y'all niggas ain't going for shit. God, give a fuck what age you Real shit, yeah. yeah. What was it like when he brought you out of Rolling Loud, man? I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be like, like, I thought I was gonna be shy and all this shit, but when I got out there, it was like, damn, fool, I'm really doing this on this big ass platform, all these people, all these fans. Then I see the, of course my shit ain't gonna be like a bad walk out, light the whole place light up.
But I had quite a few. I'm looking at them flags. I'm knowing all them big 30 fans. I heard this one I'm finna do it. You know what I'm saying? I went hard. Yeah. For real. It's a lot different than those club uh, stages, you know? Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> hey, I love them clubs. Hey, them folk. Yeah. Hey, yeah, them you clubs, right there with the people. They come so on, close to you. They white third. You know what I'm saying? I feel them folk. And, and it's like how they holler my song to me. I feel they energy and shit. Like I'm doing this shit. For real. Yeah. God. Outside of Memphis, what city shows you the most love, man? Yeah. I can't just, it's, you know, it's like I said, first city, I can't just say this to city show the most love, but I definitely, they show me real love in St. Louis. Like, okay. I run their bag up in St. Louis. Like, they fuck with a nigga out there. They fuck with a nigga in Mississippi. They were my roots in my whole family from Tunica, Mississippi. Shit, Memphis, of course, and the A. Atlanta fuck with a nigga too. Okay. God. How excited are you for this tour with Bag, man? This shit gonna be crazy. Hell yeah. See, last time they canceled, I was supposed to go on the other tour with him. I think that was Time Serve Tour or something. Oh, last year? Yeah. I was supposed to go on there, but Corona canceled. I was ready for the motherfucker. But this one, <clears> hell <throat> yeah. I'm even more happy because I'm bigger now. You know oh, what I'm saying? Sure. Like, I'm a bigger artist now. Hell yeah. Definitely, man. All right, so like you mentioned, you and Shiesty, man, y'all go way back, man. How far back are we talking? Do you remember how old you were when you met him? Probably 11, about fifth, sixth grade type shit. For real. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm t- It'll probably be younger than that because it's like, let me see my cousin, Dern, who house I used to go, I think when he was in the sixth, I was in the fourth. Mm-hmm. And, and, and like, we all from what happened. He did one year in Mexico, and then he moved to Kind Creek. So I'd say fourth, fifth grade. So when I went out there and met Shots, Mr. Okay. Yeah. So did y'all start rapping at the same time, or was he rapping before you? See, he been like doing little freestyles and shit, but he wasn't never. We started rapping like, put this shit out here at the same time, like we did it together. But like he been playing with little freestyles and shit. You know what I'm saying? We all used to just freestyle on beats, but we never knew it was gonna take us nowhere. We just bored. Got number time on our hand. Yeah. God. What's it been like watching both of you blow up at the same time, man? That that's very rare for two people to come up. Well, and none feel time. better like blowing up with your nigga and this your nigga for real. Y'all ain't like, faking it for the net or for nobody. Like it's authentic for real. This my my real best friend. We got rich together, blew up together. It don't happen like that. Not it always right. happen like one person blow up and they kind of trying to help him, but he ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? It always be like that. It's one in the middle that happen like. You and your nigga go up at the same time. Yeah. For real. Oh, that's real. So who came up with the ad lib, man? Man, really, it just was like, when we, used to be re- when we used to be recording and shit, we ain't know like engineers can make gun sounds and shit. <laughs> so y'all were making your own gun Nigga ass used to pop, pop, you know what I'm saying, whatever. <laughs> it was just kind of, we just like, brr, and we stuck with it. And we just started hitting party, brr, brr. They know Chopper guy in the bed, and we just stuck with brr, we fuck with it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Wrote out how we gonna spell it, and we start hashtagging it, the watches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Putting it out there. For real. How do you feel when you hear other rappers doing it now? You know, it's a copycat world these days. I mean, I don't take it like no nigga, cause, come on now. I feel like I'm doing something good if a nigga go behind me and say it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't on no, oh, he biting on me. I ain't on it. We ain't on that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. If it floats your boat, it will work for you. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Nigga know the original, though. Nigga know. Who really, I don't give a fuck if you was saying it before we was discovered. Nigga know who put that brother on the map, like who made it glow, you know what I'm saying? Put this shit on the chain, who, we, we stamp brother. I don't give a fuck who been saying it. Yeah. yeah. Can you show him the chain? And you got the matching ring, man. That shit hard as fuck right you there. You know what I'm saying? Mm, at the white and roll brick, guy. And my other white and roll endless piece, I ain't got it on me right now. You know what I'm saying? I got some shit, though. Sure. Got some shit, it's just the beginning. We ain't even went hard yet. You know what I'm saying? You we ain't even did dropped your first album yet. Nah, we ain't did none of that shit. <laughs> That's wild. Me and Shots got an album coming. Okay. Five thirteen gang. Okay. It's the name of I know fans been waiting on that shit. Yeah, bro. yeah, them motherfuckers gonna be so hot. Yeah. So how's he holding up in there? You be able to talk to him frequently? Yeah, yeah. He doing good, just a little sit down. Like how we was beating, we have to get, go sit a time out. So he chilling, he letting the shit break him. You know what I'm saying? What he losing? He ain't missing nothing. Shit. He staying alive in that motherfucker. He, he good. He still rich. He ain't spending no money. He ain't doing no stacking. Oh, yeah. He's straight. He just waiting on his release date. Free shots. I'm going to say free on Ty Sim. For sure. For sure. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about Chopper Gang, man. Who's the other artist you guys got on there right now? You got 
You got Baby Saucy. You got Top of Walk. You got Lil Hank. You got Grape Keith, Tay G. Yeah. K Cobb. Yeah, for sure. For sure, K Cobb. She's so hard. Y'all gotta go check out K Cobb. For sure. You got a lot of artists. For sure. Probably about seven artists, and they hard. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't blowing smoke up your way. You ain't whack on my gun, say, little bro. Let us do it. We gonna find you another way to. You know what I'm saying? I feel like shit. And I ain't saying too much off of what we saying. They can make it too. Mm -hmm. What's some of your goals for Chop again? How big can you get this shit? Man? I just wanna get like a label deal, big ass label deal, twenty, thirty million. See, little baby put us on that. He was like, man, these folks just gave me with the one M for four PL. He was like, damn, they gave you that. Oh, hell yeah, yeah, that we shoot, but we need us a label deal. We get them, take care of all my little nigga. Them. Everybody had their own house car. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Go up. Yeah. For real. Yeah, the blueprints there, man. You don't have to look any farther than like Bag and Gotti and like you said, Lil Baby, all that too, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. All right, so um, what, what should we expect from this new album, man? Hits. I got, I got Future on that motherfucker, Lil Dirk on that motherfucker, Quavo, Bag, to my Samoa, I got. I, was, I got plenty of motherfuckers on them motherfuckers. God, them motherfuckers can go up. I ain't worried about shit but Dunda. Kanye West. <laughs> That's the only motherfucker I'm worried about. And he need to worry about 30 coming for his ass. I hope him drop. Nah, for real. Good talk. So how long have you been working on this album? Have you been working on it for a while, or did you just start putting this together? Shit, what, the mistake? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I really, I, I ain't just walking no more. Like, all right, I'm finna make this for King of Kill, bring mistake. It was more like, Keep recording, keep dropping, just drop, 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 man. I'm gonna pick my best song, put them on my tape, drop it. That's how I did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the next single you plan to push off of there? Oh, no. Right now we pushing backseat of the road truck. I that dropped shit it. hard, yeah. man. The video just dropped last night. Yeah, yeah. I dropped it. That was my first time dropping the audio. I panicked. I'm on my lab, like, bro, why would y'all drop audio? Y'all know this shit ain't gonna get off, bro. I yeah, know I'm gonna drop my video. <laughs> that bitch was trending. It's still trending. It's still trending. Right it's now, it fucked me up. Oh God, <laughs> nigga look on them trending things, the baby, kid, look, all that type of shit, yeah. man. I'm like, damn, throw that up there with them stars. For real, make me wake up on myself. Nah, for real. What about producer-wise, who are you gonna have featured on there? I got ATL Jacob on that joint. I got, I got YC Terminal, YC on that joint. I got TP808 on that joint. I got, I got a lot of motherfucking producers on that joint. I appreciate them producers. Producer play a big part in these records. Cause the nigga be sending these slow ass beat packs and it's wasting your time, you going through 30 mm -hmm. songs. So you catch that good producer that know what he's doing, you gotta lock in with him. Oh, for sure. For real. Yeah. For play a big part. Producer, they be slip on them. They need they credit. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, we see uh, you and OTF are really close, man. They, they be fucking with you, you be fucking with them, man. Them How guys. that all come about at first? I fuck with them guys, man. That's them guys. I fuck with them Smurf Doodle, Low Boona, Ike Mikey. Twin, I'm my nigga, Zoo, I'm my, my nigga, I fuck with them locked in. I fuck with them so much. Like, this is how I met them. We just, we working at the science studio, just in there. I'm in this room, they in this room. I made fun too, you know what I'm saying? We used to record in the science studio, smirk all the, just in there, you know what I'm saying? We bump into each other in the hallway. We just having a little conversation and shit, and it grew. Like, I relate to them folks. Them folks come from where we come from. Them folks come from nothing, the bricks, them slums. They come from nothing. Yo, we come from, we got so much, like, we relate, why, like, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with them, I fuck with them guys, for real. Yeah. Free Boone and Mo, right? Yeah, it seems like all mutual respect between you guys, too. Hell yeah. For sure. So how'd you link with Future? Did you guys record that song together, or did you just send them the song? Man, fool. Nah, it was like, my nigga them from Memphis had pulled me up on them. Shit, I'm pulling up there again over him, but he been fucking me, bagging them, been telling me, bagging them, been telling me, like, bro. Pluto fuck too tough, like he fuck with 30. He see how you come and shit, and I talk to him on the phone. He like, I'm watching y'all nigga, I see you out here, I'm just on Satan, I'm sitting back and watching, keep doing your thing. He had told me, he had told me some reason why it's bad to tell, you know what I'm saying? Tell a motherfucker that you watching them, cause they'll just drift that one way. If you say, like just say for instance, future I'm watching you, young nigga, I might sign you. They done had that artist just focus on future finna come get me when you got all type of thousands of labels that want you bigger opportunities and shit. I think it was something like that. Okay. So, sure. sure, So, how has your transition been coming into the music industry, man? It seems like it's been pretty easy for you, but how's it really been? Yeah. What you mean? Just you know, just having to deal with like industry politics. Yeah, it's like I don't like. It's, it's, I'm, I'm catching on to it. 
Like my friend, my nigga, be telling me like, I ain't, I ain't a regular nigga no more. I can't be doing how I used to do, hopping out of them stores, leave, you know what I'm saying? Leave the show. I wanna go kick shit at Wap out there and be with all, you know what I'm saying? Nigga too big of a rich now. Nigga ain't gotta get that money, get up out of there and move like a boss now. Yeah, for real. Do you have security with you? What's your thoughts on rappers having security? Yeah, I have security sometimes. I'm finna get on with me permanently. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's smart, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of like jeopardizing my nigga and them freedom and the one I love, because that's only going to cost me money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why pay 20 some thousand for a lawyer, 50000 dollars bond? You can just get his security for $400 a weekend, $400 a day. Real shit. He, you know what I'm saying? Down the guy, he stay on the scene, get him a slap on the reed, gone home. Mm -hmm. Versus my nigga and them shit getting invested in it. You know what I'm saying? Even though we're going to protect each other at all costs, whatever come with it, but that's why I'm proud to get secured. Yeah. Nah, that's you know really saying? smart right there, man. Right. So what's your thoughts on that music scene in Memphis right now? You boys been oh, everybody five, going man, up. taking over the game. Right everybody now. going up. Everybody going up, bro. Like when I told you TK opened up the door for the young niggas, it's like we opened up the door for Memphis. Now everybody, they feel like I can make it. It's like we gave in the city hope. We got sure. some hard ass artists in Memphis. They're like, I'm telling they, they y'all need to go get them, man, for real. Yeah. You got to go through Memphis. Look on Memphis, all the Instagram. Just listen, you're going to catch your star. Oh, yeah. For real. That's real. And it seems like most of the newer artists coming up, they all fuck with each other too, man. There's not no yeah, beef yeah. or no hating going yeah. on in the city. Yeah, it, I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of beef and hate going on in the city, but when there's money involved, put this, put that bullshit to the side, we can get some money together. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, these mirrors and it brought a lot of like, Memphis would divide them two sides. Mm -hmm. It's either your side or the other side, and if they side, we the other side. But this music got us like, we kind of together. Now you'll see me doing song with nigga from Raleigh, from Fresh, the other side and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause we got money to make out here. This shit ain't about nothing. We don't even know we beefing about. We just know y'all the other side that we raised off for. Yo big homie saying we the other side, I big homie saying y'all the other side. But we turn to the big homie, you know what I'm saying? Times this shit. Real talk, now you'll catch a Fresh Raleigh nigga in the head inside me if catch us out there. Fuck you doing out here out of bounds. Nah, you my nigga them out here, for real. Nah, that's real, yeah. And what type of impact and influence would you say Memphis has had on the culture and on the rap game too, man? It's just like, everyone wants that Memphis sound. Hey, right it now. is slang. It's just how we, we ain't trying to sound like nobody. We ain't, we come, we give you straight Memphis. If you don't like Memphis, we don't, you know what I'm saying? We don't know what to tell you. This, this is all we got for you. Memphis, all we know. Talk about what we see. Yeah. And what would you say has been one of the biggest sacrifices you had to make for your career? You mentioned, you know, you kind of got to switch up how Probably you like around. the time with my kids. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest sacrifice out of man. Like, nigga to make birthdays, all type of little shit. Like, I'm talking about, like, but it's for the better. Ain't like I'm missing you be out here bushing. I'm, I'm, I'm missing my kids, so we won't miss no more birthday. Birthday can be bigger. I'm trying to build out here. You know what I'm saying? I can bring, you know what I'm saying? I bring your birthday to your home. Nigga had Disney World in the background, in the backyard. That's what I'm building for. I ain't trying to go, you know what I'm saying? Stop, I ain't trying to miss no money and go out here just to satisfy, you know what I'm saying, my baby mamas and her friends and family. Now nah, it's bigger than that. I take credit, I send money home, y'all do y'all thing, but I got some going out here, I'm building, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I want my kids to grow rich. So my dad, I grew up poor, I'm trying to break the chain. Yeah. I want them to never want for shit. Never know what a can of iron sauce look like. None, none of this shit, every morning, like, Made breakfast, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to raise my kids different so they can feel like going to college normal, not jumping off the porch, getting in the street normally, and doing what the last 20 generation did. They got to cut that off. Nigga want their kids to grow up way better. Yeah. Salute to you for that, bro. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. And what has being a father taught you about life so far? Man, shit. Man, it helped me with my decisions I make. Like I told you, a nigga be like, man, your kid needs you out here. Like, I always think about my kid before I think about anything. It's gonna come across my mind. Even though a nigga might think about that kid, still make a dumb ass decision, but I always think about my kids, that shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my mama and my dad, like, come on, man, my mama's sensitive, but hell, anything I heard of, I can break my motherfucking finger, she gonna cry. For real, like, my mama overprotective, so it be, it be anything I heard of, anything I gotta do, for real. Nah, that's a blessing too. I remember getting kicked out of school, proud of a chicken. My mom come up there, tear eye, ride, you know what I'm saying? Crying, anything, whatever, nigga get kicked out, gambling on it, you know what I'm saying? She up there crying, so you just can't do right. Nigga, we don't be with all this shit. Yeah.
You look to have more kids in the future, or are you happy with the three? Yeah, I'm done right now. Though. I'm done for like some years, but I'm, I'm looking to have a lot of kids. So okay. when I leave, my kids have a big family. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Later on in life, for real. Yeah. My grandkids have like four uncles, and, you know what I'm saying? Three aunties, a lot of people to count on type shit. Yeah. That's why, I, that's my, that's why, that's my reason that I want to have more kids. What's next, we 30? What else you got coming up, man? Shit. The tape. I got the tape coming up. I got the I got the tour coming up. And I'm finna do like a little give back, like a give back drive and mix. Like buy some like some some football uniforms and shit. Give away school uniform, school uniforms and supplies and shit like that. I'm finna do that. Yeah. Okay. That's major. Alright, you got any shout outs you like to give before we wrap it up here 30? Man, shout out my nigga, man. Free big shots, man. Shout out the whole break gang camp, whole in this camp, top gang camp, everybody who contributed to me. Big brother. Yeah. Backseat of the road truck, keep pouring, no pain, damn near empty. More drink that I pour up the deeper. I